Good afternoon, allies. Big, big day today. Uh, we're gonna go down to Dave's place. We're gonna pull out the wood miser wood mill and we're gonna mill some wood. Yeah, I'm getting my shelve wood today. I got some old, uh, Dave actually, has some old Douglas, old growth Douglas fir that I don't know where he got it, but this stuff is beautiful. So we're gonna get that going today. Um, should actually be pretty quick. I, I think from what Dave tells me, most of the work is just getting the, uh, getting the wood miser set up. But once you start going, it, it moves. So I'm I'm looking really forward to, to seeing it in action. I've never actually seen a wood miser in action. And uh, of course, I'm gonna be videoing it for everybody. So let's take a look. The wood miser portable sawmill. Look at that band, you have to replace that. We're gonna do something fun. We're gonna take up the blade that broke and just reuse that. Cool. We don't have that many ports to cut anyway. Welcome to California, where if you don't completely drain every little iota of gasoline from your carburetor, if you let it sit for a month or two, it'll clog up your jets. So we're unclogging the, the wood miser jets right now. Let's start milling, but I do got my board up. Look at this grain. I gotta show you this grain. Look how amazing this grain is. That's just beautiful. Look at that. All right, so day one uh, is done. We got the, the mill working nice, except the fuel pump still has a problem. I think that's not gonna get solved. I just every once in a while go around and, and prime it, shoot some uh, some gas in there with the siphon. Tomorrow we're gonna tear down an oak log, which uh, that should be very interesting. I can't wait to see how that goes. Oh, Nelly! I'm a lumberjack now, guys. Not really, not really. Wow, look at my hair, I just got out of the shower. I was like, I had a nice dusting of sawdust. It is far too bright in here. Hold on. How's it now? That is much better. Wow, so wood miser. Um, I, had, I had very low experience with the wood miser, just watching some videos here on YouTube. Uh, Wrangler Star, shout out to Wrangler Star. I think he had one or something similar. And, um, what can I say about it? Well, it's uh, I will call it, and, and Dave, my buddy Dave, who's the owner of it, he reflected this comment. It's a hobbyist mill. Uh, he bought it from somebody in Big Bear that was using it to uh, to plank out and mill wood for their for their home that they were building. Dave used it for his house is amazing what he did with with that wood and the fencing and all that stuff. Uh, it is a I don't want to call it fiddly because 
by its very nature, the moving parts and what you're doing and, and, and some things have to move and some things have to be very secure and the, the, the moving bandsaw, like there's going to be fiddly bits, but they're not fiddly, they're just, they need to be precise and they're adjustable. And so that takes some time. Once you get it kind of zeroed in though, you're good and it works really, really well and there's lots of options for it. And now, I mean, we, we broke a, a, the band was broken when I got there. Uh, Dave tigged it back together, he tigged it, and then it broke again after doing uh, two boards, processing down two boards, which was six uh, 16 inch by 120 inch planks. And then when we started up to do the last half board, split board, um, it, it cracked again. So what's the, the lesson there? Those, those bands are like 20 bucks. That's 20, 30, even 50 bucks, that's box. That's not that big a deal. That's not a huge, huge loss. Extremely cool though. Um, if you have any kind of need for something like that, which I mean you have to be building your house basically to have a need for it. So I understand this is kind of going to be a, a niche video. Question of the day. Have you ever milled any of your own wood or done anything like that? And kind of um, what was what was your experience? How did you do it? What did you what did you end up what did you end up using that wood for? I'm just doing shelving, which is going to be a lot of processing time on the back end. I'm going to end up sanding everything down, cutting it to size, and then staining it. So, you know, a lot of stuff to do there. So tomorrow I go back to Dave's to finish up. I got to chop down a couple more long logs, or not logs, a couple more slices of the pre-cut wood, and then we're going to take a large oak and we're going to quarter it. So that's going to be fun. Make sure you come back and check that out tomorrow. All right, see ya.